All right, everyone. It is me, Jensen Chan. And uh, uh, I was playing too much damn payday again yesterday. I kept failing on a mode called the holdout, which is, uh, you know, you just have to guard a hostage with your bots or other players if you want. But it's actually better to play with by yourself, which is why you get the bots. And, and then you just have to survive up to nine waves of, like, endless amounts of cops trying to, like, you know, obviously kill you or get the hostage back. Uh, and then Todd is like, just one more, just one more. I almost got it because I'm trying to like perfect the nine wave thing, get the max rewards. And it's like, ah, oh, shit, it's already 2 a.m. Uh, and I also was listening to Nick Fuentes because he actually did weigh in on the uh, Ahmed Mood or Ahmad Mood or whatever his name is. The black guy was jogging and then he got shot up by, um, you know, two white guys. And now it's like this big thing. I mean, initially, because like at first I had to try to look for the video of it, right? Because there was a released video. Naturally, it was censored, so a that set off red flags. But from even from the uncensored, even from the censored part, it was like, yeah, it looks like he's just jogging, and then they just got out of the truck and shot him, right? Uh, so it looks pretty bad uh, for the Carmichaels. Um, but I mean, as usual, uh, well, what's interesting is the people who I consider actual conservatives, of course, are siding with the whites, and then fake conservatives, Conning, Ben Shapiro, etc are uh siding with uh the uh the ahmad mood or whatever guy but of course at the same time they're also pushing anti-whiteness at the same time which i don't like you know i look at things objectively so you know like i still kind of lean towards like the uh the black jogger guy side simply because it just looks pretty bad it's like yeah they got like you know and i actually get, i actually have comment like i don't get too much uh traffic on my twitter right for whatever reason, but you know, even then, I actually got a comment that says, "Yeah, welcome to Georgia, right? Any random ass with a gun, plain clothes, can just detain you for any reason, and then what? You know, shoot you. It's like, you know, the citizens' arrest law is a real problem. Like, you should not be fucking doing that, because, because from the other, from my side, if anyone comes up to me with a fucking gun, right, and says, "Hey, stop," I'm like, "You're not a cop. Like, what are you doing?" And it's like, what the fuck <laughs> you can't be doing that and then like if i'm with my family you know and, and i think you're gonna try to kill us i'm gonna defend them and i'll get shot and then someone's gonna record and go oh oh don't to chat attack these uh, people but it's like dude you like you're threatening me or my family it's like you know like the lack of empathy is generally as always a huge problem and it's obviously playing out here so that's why we're in this mess in the first place with that being said uh, Nick Fuentes did bring up some pretty good circumstantial facts that are actually pretty important, you know, it adds more context to the situation. Uh, and of course, people were trying to, um, uh, uh, you know, they're giving out the wrong facts, but yeah, he did have a previous criminal record. It was from like seven, eight years ago, like 2012. Yeah, it was like minor shit. Uh, the important one to note would be, I mean, they mentioned like he brought a loaded gun to a high school or something. Yeah, but I mean, that's because, you know, you live in the ghetto, like people bring loaded guns. Uh, I went to Brooklyn Tech uh, High School. Um, someone, wait, wait, did Henry go to the mic? I don't know if he went to mine, but I remember when I, one of my old best friends before, you know, I wound up switching over to college and then went into video games and, I, you know, my, then I had different best friends because, you know, my interests changed, right? Uh, there were, like, one of my uh, old, my old best friends, he actually told me that he actually saw someone with a gun in the boys' locker room. <laughs> Cause, and he knew because the guy dropped on the floor by on mistake. <laughs> He's Everyone's lucky it didn't go off. So, yeah, people bringing guns. But it's like, yeah, the guy was from the ghetto or some shit. So that's why people bring guns. At least here in New York City, anyway. Obviously, you're not supposed to do that, but obviously idiots will fucking do it anyway. Or, I guess in the case of the ghetto, like, you kind of don't have a choice. Like, you're just going to have to take... You're just gonna have to take the hit because uh, I gotta adjust my floor mat. We can still hear it. You're gonna have to take the hit because you know, yeah, you're going to have problems. But I mean, would you rather live in the ghetto with no gun? You know, that's the other thing too. You know, it's called the ghetto for a reason, right? It's shit's dangerous. You're gonna have to defend yourself. Yeah, but so, so but yeah, but the thing that was really important was I finally found the real video on BitChute, of course, right? Uh, it does show him actually attacking the guy with the shotgun, right? The problem is it gets obscured because the guy was jogging. It was he just happened to be 
want to pass by the truck. So he went around it for an interesting reason. Uh, and then the guy with the shotgun gets out and confronts him in front of the truck. But because the truck's in front, you can't see what happens. And then they kind of then then they both emerge from the left of the truck from you know the point of view of the camera, and then uh, they have a scuffle. They're off screen. Then they come back and then guns sh- ring ring out and then you see the guy die essentially. So, I mean at that point like I it's important to see who sh- who attacked first right kind of like who punched first, uh, and even then that's kind of hard because yeah both can claim self defense right you know. So, and then they're saying, oh, I was, was trying to do a citizen's arrest. Well, you weren't a cop. Like, it's a real, it's really messy. Uh, but with that being said, the Carmichaels did say, and this is what I could, I could not find uh, details online. Nick Fuentes did cover it, but he did say, um, uh, what should I call it? There was already an immediate break in in the neighborhood apparently it was immediate or like there was already a string of burglaries the guy matched the description of it that's why they did the citizen's arrest attempt and uh what you call it um i don't know how relevant this is but this is actually kind of a i don't want to say big deal but it's definitely important uh he was 12 miles away from his house so why would you jog 12 miles away from your house and there was already in a neighborhood that had a string of burglaries where there was a specific black person robbing everybody so there was already a lot there's so as i said it's all circumstantial he could just be at the wrong place at the wrong time uh and you know uh whatchamacallit he could be staying with a friend and then he's like okay well i'm gonna go off for a jog today so there's a lot of there's a lot of shit there going on i mean nick already did say like yeah i'll look at it objectively but he's already kind of made up his mind based on the whole thing that i've you know listened to uh so that does not make me uh easy about it um so i don't know uh it's it's pretty bad karma at least the tweet i made yesterday where i was was looking at fox news about two-thirds of the uh, conservative commenters are siding with uh, a mod mood though or whatever uh but you know it should not be about anti-whiteness although a lot of people are going to try to make it that it should just be about hey what's fair for everybody right because that's how it should be and uh you know it's uh it's very unfortunate but you know uh we'll see we'll see but uh i'm not i'm not thrilled with the situation but the good news is at least nick fuentes is not going the route of uh owen benjamin right uh so you know he's still streaming live for free on d live so that's the most important thing and now that pewdiepie is gone right because we did the story on that yesterday i already closed the article but now that pewdiepie is gone DLive has even less financial incentive to get rid of Nick Fuentes. So, uh, yeah. So he should be pretty secure for a while. Interestingly enough, I've not heard Nick mention this. But then, you know, I, I've only watched this show, uh, his show last from last night. And not, like, I just don't have time to listen, right? Because I, I'd rather just try to relax and listen to Twitch or something. Because, you know, I've been working on the game. Uh, you know, despite all the stuff that I have, I still run into bugs, right? But, you know, I'm like... You know, come to think of it, look, think of how hard it would have been to create all this shit from scratch, all the bugs that would come from it. You know, I have it pretty easy with this template. So, you know, because eventually uh, I'm going to I'm going to eventually get because I pretty much have the entire setup for the game that I need because that's why I bought the asset pretty much done. I just got to change the stuff around and then I have to decide, you know, graphics, tile sets, maybe uh, the music is the thing I'm looking into because I definitely want to co- I'm definitely going to copyright it. The problem is, I also want to, I want the, uh, I don't know, what is it, content ID copyright flagging thing? But then I also just like, wait a minute, that's going to piss people off, though, too. Because I I do want people who are promoting my game to just have the music right there. I don't want it to be copyright claims. So I'm like, you know, because AdRev, because I was looking into this site, but they don't accept any new applications. So now I have to go with... uh, I've seen people in, uh, oh my god, I have to get, because their thing is spelled in some weird ass way, identify.com with two eyes, there we go, uh, this site, alright, so basically they do content ID for you, um, so ad rev obviously is like really huge, so that's why they're not taking any more people, so I can't use these guys, um, 
Well, these guys, uh, you know, I can use because they're 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 available right now. So yeah, they're obviously smaller. And I've been listening to some Elon Musk and Jeff Bezos uh, motivational. It's really mo less motivational and more like actual decent advice for like entrepreneurs and ventures and shit. It actually makes a lot of sense. So you know, I, I'm gonna conti definitely continue listening to that after I'm done. Besides, I don't want to watch Force and play Valorant. I'm so sick and tired of Valorant. I mean, hell, I'm kind of sick and tired of just watching um, Counter Strike, really. But I'm more interested in that in Counter Strike at least than the others. Uh, so yeah, so I don't know. Like, I'm I'm just gonna have to see what I, uh, how, how this content ID thing goes. Because <clears throat> if that's the case, like, what I can do is I can just whitelist everybody. So it, it's gonna be more annoying physical work, but it, it may be what I have to do. So yeah. But it's important because I don't actually want people to steal the music and then claim it for themselves because that's actually because apparently that actually happens a lot more than you think. That's why I need to be a huge fucking f word asshole about it, you know. So anyway, uh, looks like uh, during my rambling, we're browsing the market, so everything looks pretty good. I'm gonna refresh this one more time just to make sure uh, this thing's in the wrong position. Bitcoin searches for this week have dipped down to 15, so Google's still adjusting the data, but still okay. Uh, Bitcoin dominance continues to skyrocket at 67.3%. No surprise there because of Bitcoin halving. 24 volume is 160.3 billion, so very nice. 94.42 dollars uh, a piece, so pretty good. Uh, Litecoin's at 45.89, so it's dipped a little bit. Hmm, that's actually interesting. So it looks like every, all the altcoins are dipping and Bitcoin's going up a little. Okay, so that basically means everyone's dumping their altcoins and buying Bitcoin. Because again, Bitcoin halving is in like, what, three, four days. Bitcoin. Uh, I'm gonna take a swig of this. Four hour timer. Um, four days, 10 hours. Yeah, that shit goes fast. Uh. Doggy Koi, 25, 63, or nope, uh, 319 mil, uh, million market cap. I already went over Litecoin. Hmm. Hmm. I'm trying to force out the burp. Uh, there we go. I got a little out. 35.82 cents per hive coin. Well, that kind of sucks. I really dumping on that then. It has gone up like crazy though, so that's probably why. Steve's at 17.66 cents. All right, so pretty much it's safe to say all altcoins are going down. Uh, all right, I refreshed this a million times. So it looks like the markets are up today, so that's good. More records follow unemployment benefits than... I just want to read what the headline says. Another... Uh, okay. All right, well, at least it's kind of starting to slow down a little. Stocks rise by our grim jobless report. Yeah, because I was already priced in, you fucking idiots. Uh, people don't understand that stocks, yes, they're manipulated, but they're also a future indicator. I actually still believe that, right? Uh, Warren Buffett believes it, even though I don't like him, right? Uh, at least I believe he does. Um, actually, that was a long time ago. Maybe he's changed his mind, obviously. You know, 10, 20, 30 years can change. You know, someone can change their mind. Uh, I definitely get it from... Uh, the Kenneth Fisher guy, right? You know, that's where I act... That actually forms a pretty... Probably a pretty large base of my uh, investment philosophy. Uh, you know, I don't remember all the details, you know, because his thing at, at the time when you buy the... Uh, actually, I'll show you what the book is. Kenneth Fisher Books. I'll show, I'll show you what the book is. In case you want to read it. The only, yeah, I, yeah, this is the one. Oh, he's got other books, too. Beat the Crowd. Oh, he actually has a new version, it looks like. The Beat the Crowd, how to... Uh... Uh, he's literally, uh, he's written a lot of books ever since he did this one. All right, so this is the one that I read a long time ago. Uh, the only three questions that count. Um, in fact, I probably don't even remember it, but basically the one question I do remember is, what do I believe that everyone else believes that is true, that we believe is true, but is actually false, then all you have to do is bet against that. Because he does make a big point that being a contrarian investor is still random and like gambling, and that's stupid, right? You know, what do you believe that is true, that, uh, 
that everyone else also thinks is true, but it's false. Then that's how you make all your money, because then they, you know that's kind of like what cryptocurrency is, right? Everyone, th- a lot, too, enough. There's enough people in the world, too many people, that believe cryptocurrency is retarded. That's why you know it'll keep going up because there's plenty of room. Because when those idiots realize it's actually something, they're going to jump in and you know push all the prices up. Then guess what happens? You know, a, a bubble forms. Everyone, you know, everything's saturated. Everyone believes it's going up, so they've already put in all their money. It's like energy. At some point, you run out of energy. You run out of money, right? You have to rest and recover. That's what. The, and then, of course, if you're smart like me, you get out. Uh, you know, like in my case, I like to play it safe because I'm getting older, so I can't take risks like I could like when I was in my 20s or even early 30s. So you know, I'll just get out. You know, six uh, like maybe about six months or, or a year out or a year before the crash. The thing is, with Bitcoin crypto. Uh, it only lasts eight, twelve to eighteen months, right? The bull run, uh, but of course, it could be different this time, right? Because coronavirus, the fundamentals are different. Uh, both technology-wise, it's improving, and coronavirus is changing everyone. Like, there's so much shit going on. So, uh, and then, um, what's the other one? Uh, that's also when he said stocks are a forward indicator. I believe that's he said that too. And someone, a lot of other people said the same thing too, but it happens to be true. Uh, there was another big thing that Kenneth Fisher also did. Uh, God, it escapes me right now, but that's because I'm all over the place. So, what's this book? Beat the Crowd. Uh, I don't know. I'm I'm already reading a lot of books, or and I need to rest because I have to sp- I have to I have to save my mental energy for programming. Ken Fisher with Elizabeth, and specifically dealing with the stupid bugs. I hate deal- the reason why I hate programming is because I hate bugs. I hate having to deal with it. I cannot wait to become rich like Jeff Bezos or even moder- mo- uh, moderately successful, and then I can just hire everything out. And all I and I can concentrate on the stuff I really want to fucking do. How can you outmass the herd by thinking different? Uh. You know what? Oh, I can't add this to. Does he have Kindle? Why, God, the Kindle version is twenty three dollars and twenty three cents. How far ahead you should look? Oh yeah, he did also say there is limits to forecasting. You can look up to five years. That's kind of true, right? But with that being said, you know some things you can look out uh, for a very long time, a long term view, right? Jeff Bezos thinks very long term, five, ten, fifteen, twenty years. So does Warren Buffett. That's because they're in business and they're specifically changing the outcome of the future that's why it's important to have vision in that case when you make when you my cause of just dealing with pure mathematics and pure money making which is what investing essentially kind of is uh, is the way we're doing with cryptocurrency well uh, yeah you know a couple years out up to five years is the maximum oh yeah that's also the other thing too he said in the previous book you can only look up to like a couple uh, one year out reliably and then after that up to five years but even up to five years, it's so unreliable. So don't get attached to it. Uh, you know, I have a slightly different take, but I mostly agree with that. Why political controversy matters less than the louder it gets. Uh, oh, yeah, he also talked about this too in his previous book, Resurrect Long Forgotten Times, Tricks and Treats in the Market. To find out how that contrary approach makes you write more often. than So what's different about this book, apparently, is he's changed his mind a little bit about the contrarian approach. But this stuff we already talked about in his previous book. I don't know. Uh, I'm gonna add. I'm actually gonna add this book to my wish list. You know, I'm not gonna read it now because again, I just I want to play my payday. I want to do my coding, and then you know, when I have a little more free time, I'll read this. I'll read the book. Uh, the Kindle version. Oh, no wonder it was so expensive because it's quoting me the Australian price. It's actually fifteen. It's actually sixteen dollars in American dollars. Uh, 273, uh, you know what, I'll, I'll just buy it now at one click. Now I know why, oh man, do I really want to buy this book? Uh, $16, uh, I don't know. Okay, where is the wish list? I want to do wish list. Oh, here we go, add to list. Shopping list. Uh... One item add, added to a fi- no. I don't do affiliate reviews anymore. Shopping list. Customers who bought this also bought a bunch of his other uh, books too. Okay, there we go. I added it to some list. Hopefully, I'll see it. All right. 
let's go back to Firefox. Yeah. So I don't know. I forgot why I went into that huge ramble, but yeah, I probably had something to do with this shit. But yeah, everything's been priced in. Uh, Forge, Microsoft. So Rebel, neutral, RF, back up to 41 cents. Yeah, so everything looks pretty solid. Everything sh as it should be. Uh, college bound students grapple with future, um, uh, grapple with future mid coronavirus. Yes. Yes, well, thanks to coronavirus, we can't have open borders anymore and all this, like, you know, crazy, you know, liberal, liberal worldview shit. So, so everyone's going to be suffering the consequences. On top of that, college is going to get hit pretty hard, too. Another 3.169 million Americans filed for unemployment. Uh, stock trades by Nara Green Jobs. From what I could tell, could collapse. Uh, God, I don't really care about gold. They do have really nice pictures, though, because I do like the look of gold and silver. I just wish it was actually worth something. Who are we paying? Um, let's see, they're suing to keep their money. Uh, well, let's just seek those demands for new payroll subsidies. Uh, I mean, this is potentially a pretty big thing, but we'll have to see what it is. Um, okay. All right, I don't see anything about reopening. Uh, I think Trump is just in the middle of... That is a... <laughs> I always like when you, like, pause the thing, your face always looks like off. Well, first of all, I appreciate the opportunity. Uh, welcome, Colonel. Off your award, all office. Da, 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 da. Uh, oh, it's also kind of interesting. Uh, Nick Fuentes seems to really resist the calls to do coronavirus anti-lockdown protests. Uh, so I find that kind of interesting. Uh, whereas the a uh, the dissident right website that I can't even hint at, you know, is the opposite. He's like, it's all a hoax, and you should go to the protests, etc. So. Um, there's already going to be fractures in people's points of view already. Okay, so nothing new here. Okay. Uh, I don't think there's anything new here. Uh, Jesus. Uh, teachers. Okay. We lost. Uh, yes. We have migraine bring out, but it's like, but it's, see, the pandemic is over. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm so sick of this coronavirus shit. Uh, well, I build back better. Can I see many, many, the many lessons? Blah, 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 blah. I mean, as annoying as this is, I mean, Cuomo more or less is doing pretty much a very good job. Uh, I'm curious to know what his approval rating, rating actually, maybe I can look that up. Andrew Cuomo approval rating. Problem is, it's all going to probably just be sourced by uh, uh, fake sites. So let me see if I can find one. See, maybe it, like, funny enough, I can get Fox News' polls on it, right? Because obviously they generally don't like Cuomo. You know, how much, you know, they can, they won't, okay, here we go. His favorability rating daily, yeah, dailymail.co is pretty good. Surges to 71%. Yeah, I specifically want right-wing sites to be covering his approval rating. Uh, so we're saying even, uh, even 53%. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, because he's mostly doing it correctly, right? The only reason why someone would get angry is, um, uh, okay. See, see I got immediately, uh, uh, I got immediately distracted by the woman with the giant, uh, hooter, uh, boob jobs. And you know me, I actually love boob jobs, but you know, it's like, uh, <laughs> that's one of the reasons why I don't go to Daily Mail is, uh, they, they always have like really edgy shit on the right hand side. I complained about it all the time when I was doing my political videos. Uh, this is actually pretty good. Um, approval rating for Andrew Cuomo. Wait, yeah, I, I was about to write Mario Cuomo for handling coronavirus is 71 percent 53 percent amongst republicans makes sense he's mostly doing a good job and hasn't gone overly crazy with political uh uh, uh Effort to make it not political. Hmm. Well, 
Cuomo replace Joe. Oh yeah, so here's the thing the dissident right websites also talk about. They kind of want to replace Joe Biden with Andrew Cuomo. Will Cuomo replace Biden? For Dem POTUS? For the nominee? It actually would be, that would actually be pretty dangerous, believe it or not. Cuomo could actually beat Trump, you know, if, you know. Uh, so it'll be interesting to see. Oh, that's right. Um, that's why his name is still up here, but it's not going up. So it looks like he's still not going to be running for president. So they still want to keep Joe. Like the Democrat establishment and the fake progressives and fake liberals are, are going really ham for Joe Biden, right? Of course, the same people, those same fake assholes happen to also be attacking white people. But, I mean, that's what happens when you're full of hate and you live your life just lying to everybody. There's a really big reason why I just don't like a lot of these pieces of shit, right? I mean, we have the same problem in the Republican Party, too, of course. You know, especially with the fake right asshole uh, F-words. Uh, but, you know, um, that's just how it goes. You know, everyone's a clout chaser. Everyone wants to just be an asshole, so whatever. Uh, so, let's see. JFC Coin doing a bang-up job. It actually has, like, 230, 250... Um, uh, what you might call it? <clears throat> Trade volume. 404 coin continues to be at three to four, but it'll improve once uh, we complete the swap for sure. Uh, Mitch believes it'll just be when he has the wallet out. So I, I'm kind of curious to see what's going to happen when we do announce the new wallet. Uh, I mean, I don't think people are doubting that we're going to do the swap. So I'm not sure if that's the case, but whatever it is, I think it's more like people are making the calculation that it's better to get the money now than after the swap, see what the price will be. 2x2 two two coin is going to be 69 to 70, so it's doing very, very well. Solid buys, less sell order, so it's going to keep going up, right? You know, uh, so 2x2, two two, very solid. It's, uh, it's been doing very well. Compound coin's been dipping. Now it's at 45 to 5,600. Satoshi's of a dog coin. Uh, probably because, again, everyone's just getting ready for the Bitcoin halving. So I actually do expect some, uh, some crazy, violent... Uh, potentially violent uh, price moves, you know, what, as the Bitcoin halving uh, up to, leading up to it, and then afterwards, because, you know, who knows what the hell is going to happen, so it's going to be some crazy shit. Uh, let's see. Um, uh, Black Dory Survey, all right, uh, for tracking, a team from the University of Cambridge has released a new Bitcoin data tool to show the kind of the highest concentration. Uh, of course, a lot of it's in China, uh, Bitcoin mining that is, Google Analytics, Google just censored Bitcoin. I actually, uh, we have to read that. Even though it's coming from Forbes, that's a pretty, just the way they literally, and just the way they, this is, this is uncharacteristically aggressive of Forbes to go against one of their own big, co uh, favorable companies. Rye blockchain announced new bitcoins. Uh, right, I thought for a second they were talking about Riot Games announcing uh, Bitcoin or something. Uh, their own blockchain, uh, Bitcoin.com. Well, okay. Um, uh, and push for global transparency. Bitcoin wells change courses, helping approaches. Change course. Uh, okay, actually, we, I do want to know what the rich people are doing. They've been pretty quiet uh, past past month. Crack exists Bitcoin. It's in his new announcement for how uh, how early still. Okay, I actually want to read this. Oh, God, there's so much shit to read today. Apparently. Hmm. Hmm. I really hate that even though I don't drink, I, mean, I don't eat anything, just drink water, I still have to worry about burping. Financial New York regular works to open the economy, grants first Bitcoin license. And, uh, yeah, because probably because they realize, you know what, everything's online, we need to make money. Like this Bitcoin shit was designed for that, so maybe we should just stop jerking off and just approve this shit. Yeah, they should, all right. Uh, Kraken exec says Bitcoin in its infancy as new analysis reveals how early crypto investors are. If you are reading this, sure, I'll retweet this. Because uh, we are still a Bitcoin Twitter. Uh, Raphael Crash founder. Uh, he claims status. Oh, I already xed this thing. Uh, relative, the relative Bitcoin market size. 
Um, so gold is still 42 times more than Bitcoin. So this is, I assume this is market cap. That the US reserve balance sheet, the Bitcoin, Bitcoin, what's BTC X120? Oh. Uh, oh, okay. The global currency supply is currently 120 times greater than the current market cap of Bitcoin. Okay, got it. I understand. Interesting, interesting. The King Coins market size is only currently 165 billion. <clears throat> Okay, of course, coronavirus. Uh, overall market sentiment is bullish on Bitcoin. Yes, it's what it was for coronavirus hit. As well on uh, on-chain finally also occurring to pre-crash low January and fair social increases on the on-chain, which fell away in March because then now it's returning. All right, good. So basically just like the stock markets, cryptocurrency is obviously uh, pricing back in, you know, going back to normal, which was you know basically what I pretty much have been saying. So it looks like all the indicators look pretty good. Um they actually have some pretty interesting thumbnails, so we'll leave that open. Bitcoin wells are changing their course. Um, uh, okay, so anyone holding a thousand and ten thousand Bitcoin have also started buying more Bitcoin. Um, uh, okay, so basically just more technical analysis. F word tree. Uh, okay, so yeah, I'm just gonna close it. Okay. All right, I want to actually read this. Google censors, let's see, around a new quarter in May. This podcast is going on YouTube. This is also escalating from media outlets that are allowing Google traffic to Bitcoin. What? For the uh, they're all like Google traffic and Bitcoin. Uh, all big Bitcoin YouTubers, calling our anger, are now being shadow banned. Uh, I know that in June, the church will tackle these strikes to prevent us from uploading Bitcoin channel. Channel ban, however, is more stuff. The pro limits to the reach of blah, blah, blah. Oh, so this could actually affect me. A broad core algorithm update, as we do so today, is called the May 2020 core update. To Bissara, uh, also channels, the moon I'm going to to MHI have been affected. They probably will after a few hours after polishing, which is a guy who is happy here. Okay. But it's not only a crypto's YouTube. It also has hits crypto news outlets as well. The little guy YouTube sorry gets Bitcoin videos very alarming. YouTube is not clearly only the reach of my building. I put the word Bitcoin in the title. Uh, Ruth felt ads. I've never seen this before on chat. Now it's happy to all you record this video after three hours of upload. So the video drops away. I cannot be seen in search results. Uh, I know I know I'm getting recommended to them. Rufa goes on to say, I use a mesh preview. This is not only fair. It's a video. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, okay. Uh, okay. Uh, okay. Well, the beauty about Bitcoin is that it's not confiscated, such a resistance. We prove that it should be as well. We're not facing up for our credit. We are. I'm going to have to guess that Google's doing this because um, they worry about scammers, but because they have to t tamp down on scammers, they decided to simply nuke the entire Bitcoin community and crypto community. You know, that, that's probably, uh, that's, I believe that's what it is. I wouldn't also be surprised if the globalists are deciding to maybe take a more aggressive stance. Aggressive stance against, uh, whatchamacallit, um, cryptocurrency a potential boycott on the horizon oh this will be good yeah boycotts they work no they honestly i'm being sarcastic when asked about what jasinski would do if google continues to block share about crypto just said we are right now decentralized orange besides our main youtube channel we have another german channel telegram channel Twitter account, uh, firmware, we will open account these other streaming platforms. So they'll go on DLive. They'll also probably, they should be on BitChute and DLive at least if they want to continue doing this shit. Uh, John is kind of, kind of, kind of using YouTube, Google continues to Google YouTube show. He may not be going to try to move on to another platform, but that's the case that's it. I admit that YouTube is the number one place to go for kind of personal like classes. I either in my own research, it will need a lot of time until these essential. The centralized platforming stream will gain enough momentum that we can reach uh, mainstream with uh, uh, to self or to protect themselves. We all on Ivan on Tech Live. Uh, we do we do all our uh, exclusively on Ivan on Tech Live in order to ensure I can say the live and YouTube decide to remove our channel. 
okay, an auspicious type of censorship. Yeah, I mean, let's go back to what I've been saying recently, right? What is the benefits of censorship? No one's actually answering that question. So that's why this shit's going to continue to happen. Google obviously does not want to be doing this, but they're doing it anyway. So that means there's a clear benefit versus the negative costs associated with censoring, right? You know, this is actually why having an empathy actually matters. So, because uh, I've actually been really sitting down and think, okay, well, I'm really good at empathy and explaining things logically. So it's a very powerful combo. The main problem is how do I take advantage of this gift and try to share it with the world so I can make this place a little more tolerable. It's actually a better place, but yeah, you know, I'm deliberately downplaying the, everything a little. So uh, yeah, now hopefully, uh, let me see. Um, I mean, I'm already a small ass channel, so I don't know. Uh, I, have a, I already have pretty low whatever, so I don't know. Uh, Google's alleged uh, crypto story comes out. Oh, I already read that. Um, is that this is the bird Bitcoin crypto period is having a very interesting time. Okay, the future inflation of Bitcoin is going to be cut in half long term. It's a very powerful market. It shows a. Do, 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 do. Uh, they used to have, they used to allow comments and forwards, but I guess they got rid of that. Um, hmm. Uh, Bitcoin censorship Google. Let's see if Google's even indexing this, their own thing. Uh, fork Google. Yeah, good luck with that. Uh, let's see. <clears throat> Bitcoin news censored. I mean, all I see is, like, what does this May 2020 core update? Let me see if the Google blog can tell us what this thing actually uh, is rolling out today. This was two days ago. Uh, SE Roundtable. Um, search engine search engine line was pretty good. I need one that's, okay, I guess we could go with this. Uh, okay. Did you say, did you buy Kura after its update? Uh, it's only a smart debit card to beat others. Could be being developed before it could be with other technologies such as Apple. So, this situation does not make sense. This so is search engine language is rolling on new core update on May, in May. Uh, the May Day 2020 update. Uh, uh, the crypto also hit some crypto. Uh, Dude, one thing I never liked about Google is they've always been very heavy handed and then they slowly dial things back. Uh, I mean, they're basically repeating what. Uh, yeah, she's actually pretty. Oh, uh, I mean, it's. Oh, uh, I don't know. She definitely knows how to take a picture, but I can definitely tell a lot of manipulations going on. Uh, they're just repeating what they read off of Forbes. Okay, sites impacted by Google Mail. Okay, so what does this thing actually do? Uh, well, yeah, we already felt this out, uh, maybe a big one based on third I should tell you, so I can play about huge ranking drops. Okay, I mean, this is this is what always has happened. Uh, uh, but, but, but here's some posts. Uh, oh my god, why don't I drop in the keywords? Oh, yeah, they're not gonna be able, they're not gonna mention their keywords. Uh, roofing pro, okay. Uh, me, my my old input I dropped yesterday. I have not done any. Uh, okay. I mean, if we had an actual honest government, uh, this kind of dumb retard shit would have already been uh illegal under antitrust rules. But you know, of course, everyone is being bribed by big tech and apparently China. Um. To a certain, actually, I don't even know how much money is actually influencing the American government from China. But, uh, uh, but you know, yeah, but pretty much uh, Americans are not in control of their own country. That's clearly obvious. Um, yeah, so it's not just crypto, it's everyone taking massive hits. Uh, blah, 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 blah. He used to have a pride traffic drop forty percent. What does what 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 industry does he do? Uh, he's an affiliate marketer. And he lives in Indonesia. Okay, so they target it. Uh, it might be a big SEO round table. Uh, okay, this will be interesting. Huh. 
Well, who is this guy? Um, search Geek. That looks like such a huge Patel Bear face. You see that nice guy, but I, I, if I were him, I would kind of. That's kind of the reason why men should not really smile, or they, or I, I like to smile, but they should just be like, you know, just keep it more subtle. Otherwise, you're just gonna look like a pedal bear man. Visibility changes. C sites are in the health medical space, but we're seeing surges in rankings. Both are seeing surges in rankings based on the main core update. Bull up, trying visit. Okay, so it looks like. Okay, so I think if I had to guess, it looks like Google is dealing with coronavirus too. Interesting. Oh, uh, let's see. What industry do you work in? Let's see. You are some kind of engineering. Seeing improvements for the new finance blog. Oh, that's kind of nice. I do finance news. Traffic down 60%. Crazy shift is right. I just had a class here in order for probably every personal injury term we've been targeting for him for the last five years. Yeah, we'll, 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 okay. Uh, God, I'm so glad that I don't have to fucking do SEO anymore. Uh, yeah, so they're targeting SEO people as Google always does. Things look great, especially for real estate categories. Got me keywords back to the top position. Okay, so apparently there was some updates, of course, that Google always does and screwed a lot of people over. And now they're calling back up, and today's turn is the cryptocurrency stuff. All right. Yeah, so some people are still benefiting from it. See, I'm kind of see. I always find Google search always interesting, but you know, it's hard to outnumber. Uh, it's hard to uh, outcompete against them. Uh, Kraken says, so that's the thing. If I put this in the title, it might actually going to affect the visibility of this video. So I don't know. I'll, I'll think of it. Either way, uh, if you like what you saw, read or heard, hit the like button, the follow button, or subscribe button from wherever you're watching this from, or on my uh, YouTube's at youtube.com forward slash JMC radio. Uh, make sure you smash that subscribe button on the right hand side of this page so I can continue going this channel because when all those cryptocurrency channels leave YouTube to go do their own little thing, uh, well, I mean, I kind of already seen the future. So that's, I mean, you do what you have to, right, to survive. But I mean, YouTube is ultimately not, that's still going to be the number one place to go uh, for pretty much everything. So again, decentralization will only be at best a check, right? Because A, no one wants to be in a situation where you have a bunch of people just coming in and just calling you the n-word or whatever you're a woman right you're on a decentralized platform everyone's calling you like a slut or a whore or, you know whatever a cunt it's like okay like th like this is like this free speech is bullshit and then you're just gonna leave right you're, you're gonna want censorship that's why people like centralized pl platforms so uh i'm like okay what's the benefit of censorship all right uh, it always comes back to that question. Uh, if you want free speech, you must answer the you, like a, it's a paradox. You must answer the question. It's really not a paradox, but you know, pe people are just don't. Even, people, most people don't even think on my level. That's probably why like dishonest people don't like me so much because I can see I can see right through them and I can critically think. Okay, yeah, I see all the problems of you. It's like and then people just don't like that because. Again, they're dishonest and they want to be told lies and they run around the world pretending to be Christian or conservative or you know, I guess now in the case of fake progressives, they want to pretend to be progressives. It's like all you stupid F words, just stop lying, right? So it's like whatever, you know. But either way, uh, I'm, not, I'm not going anywhere and I've never had any problems, so, you know. Also, I don't actually sell anything. I just say stuff, right? I mean, if anything, when I do sell something, it's going to be like, "Hey, go play my shitty video game," right? You know, that, that, that's that, that's going to be that's what that's what I'm going to be pushing. It's like, "Oh, hey, go watch my shitty movie and TV show," you know, all, all that stuff. That's what I'm going to be selling, right? Uh, but with that being said, I don't even see Tony Vay. Actually, as much as I don't like Tony Vay's, he actually is pretty good on free speech, so. Uh, let me see. He's made a comment about because uh, he's already been banned by YouTube, and then they restored his thing. Uh, okay. Uh, I don't see him actually making any comments about the Google. 
Oh, okay, here we go. Uh, YouTube is doing a bad job sending me on the channel and tell them or team that you can always find the v latest video. Okay, so he might be commenting on it. Uh, he has a really good graphics artist. I'm kind of curious to know who. Uh, <clears throat> okay. Uh, whatever. That's written in Russian. Yeah, I mean, sort of what the uh, thing where he says it's displaying the thing. Okay, so I don't know. Uh, we're gonna have to see because I'm not. I'm also not familiar with the other crypto news, the big crypto news channel things too. Because because uh, another fact it could also be because remember some people said their financial websites are actually going up, so that could tell me that Google is just simply trying to shift the traffic over to big uh, big financial uh, media outlets. You know, Forbes, CNBC. You know the traditional um, uh, legacy media outlet types. So yeah, that could be another thing too. Um, so we'll see. We'll see. Anyway, thanks for watching. I will see you all tomorrow's video, and we probably need some kind of thumbnail. So yep, Johnson Chan, JMC Coin, 404 Coin. Uh, again, just enjoy the bull run. Things are recovering. They're getting better day by day. I just hope that the next time I go to Target. Um, that you know there's gonna actually be some meat and pork right but people are still packed buying meat so oh well